the eAssist Dental Solutions Podcast. We are the nation's leader in outsourced dental billing. Our clients require highly skilled dental office managers that can consult with client offices. Welcome to the eAssist Dental Solutions Podcast. I am your host, Andre Quintana, and I am here in the Raleigh area of North Carolina. But wait! I was on my way to my home studio and I took a detour to one of my favorite coffee shops, Wake Forest Coffee Company here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And that is because I had to do something for one of my clients and I needed my laptop. And so I'm in one of the private rooms. You might not hear anything. This is a great place for me to do a podcast. And I am with eAssist Dental Solutions. We are the nation's leader in dental claims. And also we are Inc. 500 list of fastest growing private companies in America for three years in a row. Now, your phone is your opportunity to be big and grow your dental practice. You can't perform great if the phones are being shared between patients and insurance companies. It just takes too much time, okay? That's just one, one of the many reasons that eAssist exists. Now, I don't want to delay this interview any longer. We have the spotlight, and we're focused on our guest, Andy Grover Cleveland. He is the Dental Accounts Receivable Ninja, and he is going to give us tips and tricks on how to prevent us from running our dental practice into the ground. Andy how are you today? Hey, Andres, que paso? <laughs> that is great, my friend, because I am bilingual. I was uh, born in Cuba. Did you know that about me? You, you must no, have done I your just, homework. I just figured it. Um, you, I can order a beer or taco anywhere, but you get too far beyond that and you're going to lose me. <laughs> that is great. So, you know, eAssist puts the spotlight on our partners. And today... I want to go ahead and and follow that and put the spotlight on you. So can you please tell us what you do and how it is you got to start doing this amazing work that you do at such a high level, Andy? Please let us know. Well, Andres, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here and I'm honored to be a part of the eAssist family and team. Uh, It's an interesting story. I started running into eAssist a number of years ago with my clients. My clients kept bringing up this name eAssist. And I said, oh, that's interesting. What's that? And then I started to learn how you guys would remotely and virtually file insurance and take the pain and the nonsense out of managing your own insurance and getting it out of the office and liberating dental teams to perform and do what they do best. And so the journey started from there. So I strategically started stalking you. I mean, following you. And I learned uh, all about eAssist and I really became a believer. I, I realized how you guys were helping my clients run a much more efficient practice. And consequently, it's benefited me tremendously. And and I'll tell you why. Because the quicker that you resolve, you get paid on insurance and resolve outstanding insurance issues, the quicker the patient responsibility is identified. So it naturally helps my business, which is, you know, following up on the past due and the collection accounts, Mm -hmm really help streamline that, identify those balances quicker. So when your your clients would refer the account over to us, we're naturally going to collect more money simply because it's not as aged. And everyone's been notified about the debt. Everyone's in clear understanding what's going on. And you can shuffle that stuff over to my company. And it, it's really like Ebony and Ivory or any of the duos, Batman and Robin, (laughs) you guys basically do the front end of the work. And I, my company really fits perfectly after your cycle is done. So it's really a match made in heaven, at least from my perspective. Wow. If you're not excited right now and you're one of our doctors, all right, or one of our e-assisters that can take this information back to your practices that you help 
day in and day out. I don't know what we need to do, but I am, like I always say when I have a good guest on the phone, that I am at the edge of my seat. Now, I do want to learn how you got the name Ninja. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's really kind of an interesting story. Uh, A number of years ago, I was collecting uh, money for a client. And they said, wow, you're you're like a ninja. Like you're collecting a ton of money for my practice. This is awesome. And then I took a look in the mirror and, and you know, neither of us are large people, Andres. And, I, you know, I think the Beverly Hills Ninja came out at that time, the Chris Farley thing. It was kind of funny, like he was a ninja. And I said, wow, I'm a ninja. So I started taking some pictures, you know, just like this short, stocky guy, like holding a sword. And it just took off from there. Everyone's like, I have people call me all the time from around the country saying, is this the ninja? And it's just a really (laughs) funny joke. And it really just created a brand, an unintentional brand I had never planned for. And I've just kind of run with it. So now I've surrounded myself with other ninjas like eAssist that are exceptional at what they do. And they're just stone cold good at what they do. And so the Ninja brand took off from there. And you have been doing this for over 20 years? Yeah, I've worked uh, for dental offices in one way, shape or form for just coming up on 20 years. And I enjoy specializing with dentists simply because in the collections business, and let's face it, that's, that's what I'm in, is in the collections business, for many, many years, there has not been a reputable partner in this space. There has not been anyone that just says, you know what, dental is my thing. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that say, yeah, we work with dentists, but we also work with all these other types of folks. And it's kind of like, you know, maybe a, a CPA, right? It's it's not saying that you can't effectively work there, but it su- certainly helps you to have someone that specializes in their business. They know your business. They know your challenges. They know what keeps you up at night. They know of all the issues that can occur. They understand how the staff works and the mind of the patient. And consequently, the thought press process of our esteemed dentists. So I have focused in the dental industry, and I'm so proud to do it. And let me tell you something, Andres. The, de- the the sense of satisfaction is what I enjoy most about working with dental offices. When you help someone, a mom and pop, and, you know, I work with many groups as well. But when you help somebody where it's their name on the door and every day they're fighting to compete with these large groups, it is so empowering and, and it's so exciting to help somebody Maybe you help them send their kids to college or you help them fund a retirement or you just make their their staff happier. And that is so empowering. You know, if I just work with hospitals or banks, you know, you're just a line item on, on their budget every year. And any year they can just cut you. And, you know, let's face it, you know, they're just big companies that may not appreciate that personal touch. So that's what really drives me every day to serve the dental office is you are changing people's lives and they really appreciate it. Andy, if 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 you said nothing else for the rest of the interview and we just shut it down right now, you would leave all of our doctors out there wondering, how can I get in touch with this gentleman that has just said those amazing words about caring for people? Wow. My attention is completely towards you right now. And I, I'm excited that we're going to have an amazing interview the rest of the way. So we are eassist.com, dentalbilling.com. We help doctors that have you know patients that owe them money. We help doctors that have insurances that are late paying them. We are the company that can solve the problem when your dental team doesn't have enough time to do it all. And with that, we are going to take this time to also find out how it is that you can get in touch with our special guest today. So Andy, how can doctors out there and and dental teams get in touch with you? Well, let me just say one thing before I do that, Andres, because you hit a very important point, insurance. 
it's a nightmare. Mm. <laughs> it is an absolute nightmare. Now, it's just like anything else. You can do that work yourself, arguably, right? But the question is, do you want to? And that's what eAssist does, is it takes that pain out of the office and lets them focus on patient care, delivering exceptional patient care and running a very efficient practice. So that's, again, what I love about eAssist. It empowers people and it, and it really makes everyone's life so much easier. Because, right, if let's say your insurance person is sick or they go on vacation or maternity leave or maybe they just like to play on Facebook all day. Well, who's paying the price? The dentist is. That's the value of eAssist. You're a virtual team, an accountable team that takes responsibility. And you work. You guys work day and night. You guys don't take vacation. It just works. Speaking of Facebook, all right, you got to let everybody know how they can go and like your page. Well, uh, there's a couple ways to reach me, Andres. Uh, the first thing is probably the easiest thing, which is Andy Cleveland. Dot com, A N D Y C L E V E L A N D. This is the place where anyone on listening to this podcast, you can jump right on my schedule from my home page, uh, my cell phone number, my email, Google and Facebook reviews, articles I've written, podcasts such as this, events that I'm holding. Uh, all this is right there on my website. So that's the best way for your listeners to check me out if they wish. Excellent. Thank you for that. So insurance companies, we brought that up briefly. And when one of the teams out there calls an insurance company and they say, pre-estimate, right? Not a guarantee of payment. Not enough, hey. you know, not even though it's it, according to the contract, it is a covered benefit. How does right? that affect you and what you do, Andy? <laughs> well, it, it's, I guess it's like getting a quote on anything, like a home repair, car repair. It is simply an estimate. And what you actually get paid may or may not be different. But it is very important to pre-estimate properly because you're setting the stage for how much the patient owes. And if you're not clear with the patient, then you're really setting yourself up for problems with that patient balance. And so estimating is very important. Um, I think if people are to make a mistake, and, and granted, insurance billing is not you know, my core competency, but if you're going to make a mistake, I would underestimate what the insurance is going to pay so that you maximize the patient responsibility. And it's much easier to, to send the patient checks as opposed to trying to go after in an excess amount. And think about from the patient's perspective, we, we believe, right, that, you know, dental practices are not purposely deceiving people. But if you estimate one thing and then to tell the patient they owe so much more money than what was estimated, right, there is a bad taste in your mouth. And that's where you can get negative reviews and there's problems collecting that balance. And Respectfully, I don't want my company to really have to work those on a consistent basis because the patient does have a point. Maybe they were misinformed on the balance. You're just starting off that patient relationship on unsteady ground. So proper estimation is key to identifying patient responsibility and getting the patient to pay. I love that because this next one is actually something that I have been a victim of, you know, we have EagleSoft in my wife's office and, you know, we're, we're posting payments. This is before eAssist, right? eAssist took care of that problem and, and gets us always to have accurate ledgers. But before, we used to do a write-off for a family that had possibly five you know, outstanding claims where all the kids came in for cleanings and uh, mom and dad came in for fillings and and. If we did the write-off to the wrong person, with EagleSoft would just kind of be all messed up and there would be a great misunderstanding about what the patients owed on their accounts. How do you play a role on that? Well, we, you know, my company basically works the accounts, the patient responsibility where ESS basically leaves off. And so it, it's a similar value proposition as clients going on board with eAssist, people that value 
getting that outside help at a controlled cost without tax implications and hiring implications, it's the same thing here. And so clients that value my service typically value that, you know, there is help from the outside that will be accountable, that will be consistent, and we'd be held to a much higher standard than what they would do internally. But consistently communicating your patients from point of sale throughout the AR cycle is very, very key. In other words, you don't want to blindside somebody with a balance. If insurance pays and you haven't told your patient what they owe, then and then you tell them 90 days later that they owe a huge balance, they are going to be upset. So again, stopping that issue from on the front end, being very clear with people on what their responsibility is going to be. And I would, again, play the card that you're going to give them a much worse case scenario than probably what they're looking at so that when they do have a lesser amount, they're much more pleased with you than the other way where you've overpromised what's going to be paid. And then they're very upset that they owe much more and they maybe feel taken advantage of. And then you've lost the patient. And then you turn that account over to us and it's pretty much uncollectible at that point because they feel like they've been done wrong, whether it was intentional or not. We probably have doctors out there that are starting a practice and they're they're wondering, like, how can I get you on, you know, Andy on my team before I even start, right? Because there can be a point where is it too late ever to get you to come in and, and do what you do? Absolutely not. Certainly, if you know you've had a mature practice and you're 30 years into it, the opportunity is less simply because of the occurrence of time. But no, it's kind of like going to the dentist. You know, tooth decay is inevitable. You can do everything you want to on the front end to stop it, whether it's the choice of toothbrush, brushing and flossing, and prophylactic care. But the reality of it is, there is always some level of degradation of the tooth and of tooth decay and plaque. And the real question is, Andres, what do you do about it? Whether you're in a serious situation where you have lots of quote unquote problems, then right, the treatment's going to be much higher. Uh, many practices come to not only your company, but, but to mine to really just optimize their operations. They don't really quote unquote have a problem what they want to do is run a more efficient, effective practice and, again, elevate the level of patient care they can give because we all have limited amount of time, staff, and resources. The question is how do we optimize them to run the best business we can most profitably and uh, giving the best patient care that we possibly can? Wow. It sounds like you and eAssist have this amazing synergy uh, working together. We're going to definitely learn more about that as we go on this interview. But Andy, I'm going to get a little bit personal right now. All right. You may not be ready for this one, but I just feel like it fits with our interview today. So just hit me. I'm transparent. You either like it or you don't. There you go. All right. Tips and tricks. Do you have any up your sleeve that you would like to share today about great collections and healthy collections in your office? It's very, very simple, is to have things scheduled and be consistent in all your patient communications. And what I mean by that, and listen, we all have certain things. We're all supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day. We're not supposed to eat too much red meat. You're supposed to exercise. There's all these things we're supposed to do, which is right, kind of like school, like where you're supposed to learn what you're supposed to learn. And then you have the real world which is like, okay, that's great. That's the way things are supposed to run. Then how are things really run? So if, if you have the ability to communicate with, you have the staff, you have the time, and they have the training, and they have the passion to uh, chase patient balances in-house, I, I don't have a problem with that as long as it's done in a very ethical, consistent, and concise way. I have practices that consult with all over the country that say, you know, we do a great job, you know, we're sending out bills, we're calling, and then they become a client, Andres, and we look at the ledgers, and the billing has been very inconsistent. So it's really focusing on basics, doing your billing every month, 
or maybe even doing it biweekly, calling your patients that owe the money, um, maybe engaging with a tech service to help you with that. But really looking at are your patients being communicated with regularly? Most, again, insist that they are. But when you look at the actual data, they're not doing it on time. And so you either have to decide to bump up your internal efforts or just say, you know what, even if we could do it, we just don't want to. Let's hire Andy's team to do it for us. Perfect. And, you know, speaking of internal efforts, you know, one of those things that uh, I believe I tell my doctors and I tell my team is, you know, at the front desk, just make a great first impression on your patient. You know, if you make a bad impression uh, the first time, you lose them. Right. But if you if you make a great first impression, now the possibilities are so wide. Can you speak about, you know, body language and things that front desk teams can do to have better results and then probably just need you for maintenance and not the big work that you're supposed to do? Yeah, I'm a firm believer, Andres, if you have the right people and they actually care about the patient. And, they, and everyone's on the same team that you want what's best for the patient. Everything works itself out. So I'm not a, a, a trainer as far as training front desk teams. There's other people in that space that focus on that. That's a, that's a whole area of consulting in itself. So, but I would say, you know, basics, good eye contact, clear communication, being friendly and personable. If you do those things, you're already 90% ahead of everybody else. Think about some of your worst experiences. Maybe you go through a drive through and they don't even say thank you or, you know, they just hand out the bag to you That's and you right. drive by and they don't make eye contact. Those are things that you, we can all learn from and say, okay, I do not want to be like that. <laughs> Maybe you use that. It's kind of like uh, Seinfeld, George Costanza, right? You do the yeah. opposite of whatever George is thinking. Right. Maybe that's the way to do it. But it, these are just basic things that we all learned in kindergarten. Please, thank you. Good eye contact. Connecting with people. Basic, basic stuff. I think as a country, we have deviated so much from this. It's very, very easy to look good at this point. See that? See that, guys? You got to give Andy a call. And, you know, uh, speaking of connections, you know, Andy might be able to connect you with a great consulting team as well. Andy, can you just let everybody know your contact information one more time? Sure. So if anyone wishes to connect with me, they can go to andycleveland.com or, you know, if you prefer my cell phone number, it's area code 864 five one seven two two three three call or text that number any way your heart desires uh i'm always working i don't really have much of a life so i have clients all over the country that i'm working for pretty much around the clock so i welcome anyone to reach out to me if i can't be of a resource i'm very happy to connect you with other people that do have resource in the area of inquiry i've developed a network of ninjas to basically elevate my brand and so that I'm perceived as more than just the collections person. And I, I enjoy connecting uh, partners, dentists, with other high quality ethical partners they can trust in their business. And of course, eAssist is one of those very valuable partners. And that comes through in, in your message, Andy. And this is a perfect time since you mentioned that you work around the clock. I just want to remind everybody out there that eAssist also works around the clock. And eAssist will go on a short break to give you a brief announcement. We'll be right back. You know your practice is losing money. You just don't know why. Office managers are often overwhelmed with juggling insurances, patients, scheduling, and staff. eAssist Dental Solutions has the answer. By outsourcing your dental billing efforts with eAssist, your patients become your sole focus. With eAssist on your side, you will feel the burden of insurance collections lifted off your shoulders. Visit us at www.dentalbilling.com today to find out more information. 
So we are back again at the eAssist Dental Solutions podcast with our great guest today, Andy Grover Cleveland. Andy, I just want to have you say hello to eAssist Nation. Can you do that for us? Well, yes, it's a great honor to wish all the eAssist Nation a fantastic and highly productive day. I know what you guys do every day. And you know what? My hat's off to you. You have people out there that are really working hard for your clients. And I am in awe of what you guys are doing out there. Thank you so much. I personally love eAssist. My wife's office has benefited from eAssist for the last two years. And uh, I'm also on the team here. I will be answering sometimes the phone if you give us a call. You know, go to eAssist.com. You can get our phone number there. And then we have Andy on the phone right now giving us tips and tricks about uh, what he does to make dentists successful. So the question comes up about practice management software. And, you know, that may come up in conversations with a dentist that may not know if your work is compatible with theirs. Can you speak a little bit about that? I mean, that's the beauty of it. We have technology, my team of ninjas, we have a technology software solution that basically integrates with almost all dental software. So what that means, Andres, is any client will have access to a dashboard that will tell them essentially in real time every patient balance and insurance balance that's outstanding. And then they can decide what to do about it, whether if they're doing their own insurance, then they can follow up on their own insurance. If it's your team, then that's a good way to track it. And also tells you what uh, patient balances are outstanding. You know, many times patients say, oh, this is a great patient. And then you look at our software solution and it says the patient hasn't made a payment for 90 days. Well, they might be great people, but they're missing payments and the practice is losing revenue as a result. So that dashboard is is provided free of charge to, to my clients to basically show them what's going on in their business. And it gives them the ability to act on that intelligence and submit the accounts over to my team for further follow up. And so they get a username, password, they can log yeah. in. How, how does it work? Yeah. Username, password, it's all cloud-based. They can do it from anywhere. And every night it talks to their software and it pulls up whatever's delinquent and it's in user-friendly format. So instead of running a report in whatever software they have, and we know how laborious and unfriendly those reports are, it gives you a real easy dissemination of what's owed and you can filter the data, download the data in Excel spreadsheet. And most importantly, you can safely and securely send those patient accounts to my company so that we can start working on them and collecting the money for the practice. Excellent. That sounds like a tool that every dentist needs. But speaking of that, some patients already are stressed out about their appointments. We know that at the dental appointments. Right. And your work makes sure that doctors are not stressed out in the process for financial reasons. How can you help doctors not be stressed out about their finances? It's all about delegation, Andres. And, and that's really what we're talking about is outsourcing with intelligence and doing things that you can quote unquote outsource, but without hurting the patient experience. And that's what we're talking about today. Dentists went through all that school and pain and debt, not necessarily because they love running a business, because they want to excel in practicing dentistry. So that's what eAssist does, and that's what my team does, is we empower them to do what they do best. And respectfully, they empower us to do what we do best. So I'm handling the patient balances for, you know, past due and collections. E-Assist is, is doing the insurance side of things. And then the team is focusing on the people in front of them and recall and unaccepted treatment plans and social media and marketing. So it's all about having the right players in place. It's just like a good football team. You got to have all your players in place. You got to have the coach running it, which is the dentist. And you got to have your all-stars there that know what their responsibilities are and are willing to execute them. 
so important because if you don't think that patients can tell when their doctors are not, you know, in the right frame of mind, that that could be so, so uh, sad for, uh, you know, a, a doctor to be all stressed out about. Think of the combination of having your out, your claims outstanding uh, for over 90 days, 120 days, and and probably be, you know, $150,000 um, behind on your insurance collections. And then you combine that with a huge uh, patient accounts receivable problem. Yes. If you have one, you're going to have the other, typically. You, you tr true are. Yep. How, can you talk a little bit about that? How does that happen? The most important revenue stream for most practices is insurance. If they're PPO, insurance-driven practices, which I believe about 80% of, of most practices are, 80 to 90% at this point. So that is where your real money is. That's predictable money that you should be contracted for, and that should be a slam dunk to get that done. Respectfully, if that's not done properly, then you're setting the stage for patient AR being out of control or being higher than you would like. And this world of dentistry has become so increasingly complex. It's changed so much in the past 20 years. It now makes complete sense because it's so specialized and it's so diverse, again, to get certain things off your plate. And I would argue Insurance and patient billing is something that you can get off your plate without fear, with complete confidence. If you have the right people in place, it doesn't take away from that patient experience. And to get that done officially and professionally is key to running a successful practice. Andy, speaking of a slam dunk, you hit it just right. You took that dunk and you did it right from the foul line, okay? Like MJ, I'm a North Carolina guy now. So, and you hit it on uh, right on the nose because we are an 80% PPO practice, my own practice, and that's exactly the breakdown. And if, if I look, when I get into the office, I look at that 30-day insurance AR column and, I'm, and I get super excited because it tells me what we have produced inside those 30 days. And if we have e-assist on our side, right, you know that all of that money will get collected for you. We won't skip a beat. We won't let anything go yeah. into, into 90 days for sure. And we're right at the holidays. I mean, it is as we record, we're in the beginning of December. How do you want to finish out the year? Do you want to be, we all want to be, you know, spending time with our families for the holidays. Do we you don't want to be stressed out about money. Well, you should have everything set up so that when it comes to the end of the year, everything is running predictably and you're starting next year. So this is a great time to talk to your dentist uh, about this is, you know, how, how do you want to run a practice? Is it is are you happy with what it's going or do you feel like there's areas that you'd like to improve upon? And so this is a great time to reflect and look at those systems, Andres, and try to tweak them so that you start 2019 really off with a bang. And ESS Nation knows about this. We don't want doctors to do it on their own, for sure. What happens to those who try it on their own, Andy? Yeah, I mean, listen, some people can do very, again, it's just like anything else. You can fix your own car. You could fix your own water heater. You can paint your own house. You can do a lot of things just by Googling it. The question is how much time, how much effort, how much money, and how much frustration are you going to spend to do it yourself? And the question is, is it worth it, right? As practice owners we and businesses, we all have to pick and choose our battles, and focus on the things where we can make a change and not focus on things that you can't change and don't get overly emotional with, you know, different parts of our business. And so it's all about doing the things that make sense to do yourself and delegating the rest. Now, speaking of focus, let's focus back on you. Can you give us a mentor near or far that has made an impact on what you do? There is absolutely no way... That I can tell you just one. I would be fearful to do that because there are so many dental consultants and other key opinion leaders that I have learned from. And I'm just honored to be a great part uh, of social media where I'm connected with these people. I have a, a, a shelf 
full of books. I read blogs. I go to their websites. So there are numerous dental consultants and other key opinion leaders that I really admire. Uh, the Academy of Dental Management Consultants, which is a vetted group of dental consultants, which I am honored to be a part of, is a is one of the most comprehensive resources. And Dr. Anderson is a part of us as well. Uh, that that really kind of brings everybody together. So if you had to tie me down to one resource, <laughs> the ADMC.net would by far be the place that I would start to give thanks. That's terrific. And, you know, you mentioned blogs and all of the tools that you use, but also a podcast. We have so many incredible podcasts out there that can educate you further on what it is we're talking about today. Andy, Thank you so much. I am going to give you the mic again and give you the opportunity on this podcast to say hello to eAssist Nation. And thank you again for educating us all. Yeah, I mean, again, I, it's with great honor and respect that I am connected with many of you. And I am eager to learn more and to connect more with other people in your great network. I think I've only scratched the surface. So if if we have not con yet connected, I would encourage you to please reach out to me. I'd love to get to know you and, of course, help your clients should they need it. Wow. Well, we established today how important billing and collections and profitability is for your practice. We have also helped you determine you know, all of the areas and benchmarks of your practice that you can improve. The economics of outsourcing is something that is really important to dentistry today. Andy, I just want to thank you again for coming on the show. I want to wish you a great holiday. It is time to say goodbye. Best to all. Thank you for having me on your podcast. And I'm just honored to be a part of eAssist and the great dental community. So thank you all very much. I wouldn't be where I am today without you. So thank you. Thank you once again to eAssist Nation and our amazing doctors. We want to remind you to give us a rating and a review. And thank you for letting eAssist be a part of your journey. Have a great week, everybody. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode of the eAssist Dental Solutions Podcast. We love to put the spotlight on the individuals for their outstanding work for our clients. 